So welcome back. This is going to be my uh, daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, December 1st, 2020. And uh, today was a fairly good day. Uh, actually, really excited to see what happens in the foreign exchange market because we did um, a lot of uh, trading on the forex uh, market and also the tech stocks that were invested in on Friday are most likely going to um, have quite a lot of profit uh, in the long run in December because people will buy online and so on. And um, yes, that is going to be uh, quite a, a good profit in December in the long run, the next three weeks, I'm guessing. Uh, but we'll start by looking at uh, the uh, US dollar index. And as you can see, we have created a bullish hammer here. And I think that this is probably as far as this market will go at this point. Uh, this will change a lot of things. For example, I do expect oil to fall uh, towards uh, $43. Um, this most likely will rally up towards the 20 exponential moving average. As you can see, it has been uh, resistant at the 20 exponential over here and also over here. So if we rally up towards the 20 exponential, then that is at uh, 92.47. Uh, and that will have quite a big impact on oil and also on gold. I think that this is the thing that is going to make gold fall towards 1750 and also 1700. Technical indicators for this are, well, they're flat and a little bit bullish. So it probably will take some time, but... This is an encouraging sign for the US dollar that it will start to appreciate now uh, the next probably two or three days. So we'll start by looking at oil. So oil fell towards uh, 44.53. That is the lowest that it was today. And then it rallied again. But these technical indicators are very bearish at this point. MACD is turning around, Stochastic has, and the CCI has, and the um, RCI, RCI, RSI is also turning around. So what I expect to happen here is that we'll most likely go and test these previous highs over here. That is at 43.75. That is probably as far as this market will go at this point. And it will most likely also take two or three trading days. If you see the US dollar starting appreciate, then watch out below, this is going to fall. Um, but I don't expect this to fall significantly lower than that. Yeah, because if the US dollar starts to depreciate after it hits the 20 exponential, then you'll see this basically rally towards these previous highs at the 46.23 and then all the way to 47.5 and then 50. And that's where you'll find most of the sellers will come back in and basically pressure this down. So technical indicators here are looking very bearish and will probably go towards uh, 43.75 before uh, we go higher in this market. So let's look at nat gas. We can see that we rallied above the 50 and then broke down again. We have created a inverted hammer and at this point, I don't think that we are going to rally from here. I just don't see uh, this market going like this and then up to these previous highs. What I see at the moment is basically lower lows. So low and low, and the next well, third one is going to be around 2.5. So this is a market that is possible to short. I have done that in the past. It's horrible. So I would not recommend anybody doing it, but it is possible. Um, what I would do is uh, I would wait until we find a bottom in the market. And 2.5 uh, is a fairly good guess where this market will bottom. However, if that breaks, then we're heading down towards the 200 moving average at 2.2. So at this point, technical indicators are technically flat at this point. So we have to see what happens. But this is not a encouraging sign. This rally here or the breakdown of this rally is not a encouraging sign for this market. So let's look at copper. And I was thinking about buying and selling into this market yet again. I should have done that, but I did not. 
we hit 3.5 and then just fell apart. At this point, we are probably going to see something similar to this now. So this just went absolutely parabolical uh, in the Asian market. And then when we entered the European and the United States session, it just broke down from uh, 3.5 to 3.446 at this current stage. Technical indicators are turning around in this market. We are significantly overbought. So um, I'll see whether or not I entered this market again. I tried it three times here, but was not successful in shorting this. And uh, at this point, it's probably where I should have waited and started sell selling this because this is probably going to head towards uh, 3.225. But we'll see. Uh, if you went to this market, then you should have a stop loss above 3.5 and um, take profit around here, 2.25 or give or take. So let's look at gold. So gold went from probably being the most promising trade to be absolutely impossible to trade at this point. We're trading underneath the 200 moving average. Um, the 200 moving average is no longer support, it's resistant. So rallies here will most likely find resistant at the 200 moving average. What we're looking at here is probably a fall from where we are at the moment, current stage at 1780 towards 1750. That's around here. And then after that to 1700. If the US dollar starts to appreciate, then there's almost a guarantee that will hit 1700. So I have no interest in basically buying this or selling this. I need to see um, the bottom of this market in order to start buying into this market. And at this point, it is just in a free fall. We are oversold and these technical indicators are all looking really negative. So we may rally, but be aware, the 200 moving average will be resistant at this stage. So let's look at silver. We can see that silver broke down below these. No, not really. We got very close, but we created a hammer here. And this is quite a bullish shine for, for, for silver. So I would not be surprised if we rallied from here towards the 50 moving average. That is uh, possible. You will see something similar to this. Technical indicators are turning around. For example, the stochastic is turning around. We are on the edge of being oversold. So we could see a rally up towards the 50. But still, this is not a market I'm not I'm going to enter. I would consider entering this if we got all the way down to the, 20, uh, the 200 moving average. Then I would consider this. But we need to break these previous lows here of 21.65 uh, in order to go towards the 200 moving average. So we'll see what happens, but I would stay away from this far, far away because it can break down and it can also rally. And that is just that is just gambling. That is not trading. So let's look at platinum. And as you can see, we rallied quite significantly. We found uh, uh, resistance here at these previous highs at 979. And at this stage, I think that we are going to go see this market go a little bit lower. This proved to be where this rally ended. And at this stage, we are on the edge of being overbought. The RSI is at 66. Technical indicators are turning around. So a pullback towards uh, 950, that is plausible. Uh, but a pullback towards the 20 exponential at around... Uh, this is at now 919. It will most likely be around 931. That is probably the best option. So something similar to this down and then head towards uh, the 1000 mark. So this is a wait for a pullback in order to buy at this current stage. So let's look at Palium. We can see that we felt quite significantly towards the 20 exponential moving average, found support there, pulled back a little bit. And at this stage, we are probably going lower in this market. So I said on Friday that I was um, uh, quite irritated that I, I didn't buy into this uh, rally because it happened so fast. And I'm at this uh, point, I'm quite glad I didn't buy into it because we just fell apart in the trading session today. 
technical indicators are all turning around. So we're most likely going to um, going to uh, to uh, surpass the 20 exponential and head towards the 50 uh, in order to go for another rally. A break below that opens the door to 2.3 and then really much lower. So this is also a market that possible if we could get a green candlestick over here and take out these uh, these highs, then we'll head towards 2.5. That is possible at this stage. So it's aluminium. We have uh, we can see that we have been bouncing off the 20 exponential moving average for quite some time. We got close to the 20 here, but today we absolutely exploded to the upside. I don't think that we are going to go significantly higher at this stage. Uh, we are probably going to see a red candlestick tomorrow and we'll find um, support here at roughly around 2.0. Uh, 2 uh, that is also previous highs here, and that is a very rounded number, and usually, yeah, the markets like round numbers. So we are at 76. We are significantly overbought. We need a pullback towards the, the, the 2.0, and then we continue to the highs. So this is possible to buy into this market when we get to this point, if it basically rallies from there. An even better entry is basically as close to the 20 exponential as possible, and even better, the 50. But I doubt we'll ever get to the 50 in the next few weeks. So let's see what nickel has to offer. We can see that this is looking very interesting. So this is a market I'm going to look at tomorrow because it also has been uh, bouncing off the 20 exponential and the 50 uh, moving average. So if you see a bounce from the 20 exponential tomorrow, then this is a market that you could buy into. However, these technical indicators are all turning around, so it is highly unlikely that we are going to see a bounce tomorrow. We'll probably see another uh, test of the 20 exponential, probably go a little bit lower, and then if we end up above the 20 exponential, then that is a very encouraging sign. Um, at this stage, it's just to wait, what see, probably on lower um, time frames on the on the four uh, time uh, four hour time frame or the one hour time frame in order to see where we have these bullish spikes. So let's see. Um, it's sugar. So. This is also becoming very, very, very interesting. This is what we have been waiting for for a very long time. So if this market start, hits the 50 and starts rallying from here, then I'm very interested in basically buying into this. We could break down a little bit low, uh, below the 50, but we need to rally from here. We'll probably see something similar to this. It will go down and up towards this. So if we go down towards the 0 0.14, that is uh, probably as low as this market will go. And that is also these previous lows here, and we'll find a lot of support here. So we most likely see something similar to this, go down towards the 0 0.14 and then go up. So these indicators will also have been turned around by them. So this is a trade that probably will take uh, waiting of one or two, three trading days. So we'll see when these technical indicators turn around and uh, whether or not we can buy into this market. But entry here, 0 0.14, stop loss right underneath here, 0 0.14, and then target these very highs here. So let's look at cut. Done. We can see when we have started breaking down again. If we get close to the 20 exponential, then this is a bounce from there, then this is probably a buy. That is probably also where we find major support in this market. These are the previous highs here. So it's going to be interesting what we're seeing. It's not a market that you can enter at this, at this stage, but an entry here, you have a stop loss underneath the 50 and targeting the very highs. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Technical indicators for this are looking very bearish, so we will most likely go lower tomorrow. So let's look at cocoa. 
This is a very resilient market. It just won't absolutely collapse, even though we are overbought. But I think it's just a matter of time. There is another way to look at this. We are also, uh, could be forming, a, oh, I need a line here, here, a square, which could indicate that we will, we're about to break to the upside or we are about to break to the downside. I am favoring the downside at this point. I don't really see how we are going to break up to the down upside when our RSI is at 70. Technical indicators are also turning around. Stochastic is negative, the CCI is negative, and the MACD is becoming flat. So this is a possibility. I am favoring the downside. A break uh, below here opens the door. If you can look at the 15 uh, Fibonacci retracements, I probably got a lot of lines here. We can see that the Fibonacci retracements are right here. The first Fibonacci is here at 2.596. After that is 2.529. And I am just to be a little optimistic. I think that we're going to 2.596. That is probably where we'll find uh, buyers come in. We'll also have the 20 exponential moving this way and that is most likely where our target. If we rally to the upside, then these are the highs, 2.821. If we break above that, then we are going significantly higher. It's just keep in mind, we are overbought at this stage. So let's look at wheat. We can see that we have broken absolutely catastrophic day for wheat. So hopefully everybody sold this last week because this was not uh, expected for this market. So we found support here, 585. Technical indicators for this are looking dreadful. So if we break below this, then we are going significantly lower. If How far? We are probably to 576 here and then all the way down to the 200 moving average. That is a possibility. We are trading below the 50 at this point. So the 50 is going to act as resistant and so is the 20 exponential moving average. But we have to see, uh, this was not expected. It looks like we are turning around in this market or starting to trade sideways because you can also look at it this way that these are the highs and these are the lows and we could be heading towards these highs and then trading in a sideways in this market. Or break below this area here opens the floodgate to all the way down to the 200 moving average. So keep that in mind. So hope you find this helpful. Um, good luck. And I think that most of those trades for the currencies are going to be really profitable. And in the long run, also the, uh, the, um, also the stocks, the tech stocks are also going to be fairly profitable. So good luck and thank you very much.